Okay, ions. Nitrogen. And again, this is an ion. Nitrogen, <coughs> seven. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as an isotope and an ion. And I'm gonna put a three negative. Ion slash isotope. Okay. <laughs> ion slash isotope. What is an ion, Julio? An ion is um, to have, and it's like the same amount of protons that have different amount of electrons. Right. So now that's why I have a negative charge. All right. How many protons does this have? Seven. Seven. Okay. How many electrons does it have? Uh, We're going to do the number of atomic number minus the charge. So Tyler, what's minus Negative three. Seven minus a negative three. Ten. Ten. And then neutrons, same thing I just did. Fifteen minus seven is eight. So what is different? I have a different number of neutrons and I have a different number of electrons. Okay? Now watch this. Watch this here, we. Okay? If I switch the charge from three minus to three plus, then what happens, Tyler? Seven minus Positive three. What is seven minus positive three? What the? Minus positive three. It's four. Oh, so now I'm missing some electrons. It's still an ion. It's supposed to be negative. Either one is fine. That's a great question. If you all right, if you all pay attention to that, Weezy was saying, is this supposed to be three negative or is it supposed to be negative three? Either one. You'll see it in all kinds of ways. Okay? So the bottom line is, look here, Spios, if you see a positive or negative sign, it's an ion. If you see a different mass anywhere, it's an isotope. But you will never see a different number of protons. Ever. What's seven minus the charge? I changed it. 